running down the hill and Pallavicino now takes a definite advantage from Forrest Falcon in second. Etonian on the rail in the red with the green armlets. The Royal Jacket is worn by Just Fine in fourth place from Brilliant Light. They're followed by Mokta Saab with the big white blaze down the center. Cap Francais not far behind with Kenzai Warrior. And then behind these out wide Legend of Dubai. Wider still is our Kub Law Protector will have to find a way through. So too will Caradoc as they now reach the rail cutaway. And Pallavicino from Forest Falcon. These two strive for strive. Forest Falcon maybe just taking it up. Just fine chasing with Etonian. Ace Rothstein running a big race on the far side. Mokta Saab as they race on now towards the final fall. And Forest Falcon has kicked away on the far side. Running into second Etonian. Trying to run on Brilliant Light. And Mokta Saab on the outside. But Forest Falcon is out clear. Two to three legs. Forest Falcon and Frankie wins the opener. In second, Brilliant Light. Mokta Saab third, Etonian and Lord Protector. They're followed back by Dandy Man Shines, Marban and Jiffy Boy at the back of the field. Heading towards the right hand, which will bring them into the home straight. Galleron leads to Dornock Castle. Mysterious Knight has made ground, albeit tracking wide, but it just strides leisurely into the lead there. Mysterious Knight in the hands of William Buick. Took it up going very easily indeed, but still a long way to go. A dear My Friend in the light blue jacket. Still there, Galleron. Dark 30s on the far running rail from Jiffy Boy. Holloway Boy now begins a run on the right, travelling very smoothly indeed as they head inside the final two. He gets to work on Mysterious Knight, who still just prevails from Galleron. Holloway Boy now being stoked along out wide of Dear My Friend, and out wider still is Marbon in the yellow jacket. Holloway Boy now charging at Mysterious Knight. Marbon could be a threat though, getting there with every stride. Holloway Boy took it up. Here's Marbon dashing down the outside and grabs Holloway Boy to win. Marbon wins the vintage from Holloway Boy back in third mysterious night tight for fourth dandy man shines on the near side of dear my friend we've not had the easiest year in the world uh, probably summed up by Grand Alliance's decision to veer halfway across the track at Ascot and throw away the King Edward and that's has sort of summed up my year so to come here at such a wonderful meeting uh, and have a two-year-old who looks really exciting for an incredibly important owner for our yard. Um, it, yeah, it means a lot, a lot. And it's Pogo that leads the way to Lord of the Lodge in second. Happy Power is in third place. They appear to be really tracking along, ever given his fourth on the inside, followed by Sandrine. Then Sir Dance Lot and Lucille just nudged a bit. Uh, back in the field, Kinross, they're pretty well strung out from Lana Cash as they run round now into the home straight with just over three furlongs to cover. Garbas still at the back of the field, sacred with plenty to do towards the inside in a blue cap bobbing away. Pogo leads the way to Happy Power and Lord of the Lodge. Pulled out now is Sandrine on the outside. Outside. They are followed by Ever Given. Ken Ross getting closer is sacred, but will need a few gaps. They're at the cutaway. So dance lot behind these as they stretch on towards the final film and a half. Pogo far side of Happy Power. Sandrine down the near side. They're followed by Ken Ross now staying on far side under Frankie. Back then to Sacred and Ever Given. Sandrine just about gets to the lead inside the final hundred yards. Ken Ross sneaking up the fence. Sandrine is just in front, but the others diving with Ken Ross. Sandrine, Ken Ross. Sandrine on the near side of Kinross, probably in a photo, really tight finish. Back in third, Pogo, uh, behind those happy parents, Sacred. She took a while to really blossom this, this season, and um, she's run consistently, but kind of in defeat, and she's got some very, very improving mile, in, mile fillies in front of her. So uh, the plan was to try the seven furlongs today, and uh, it worked out great for her. She was, she's able to travel off a real strong gallop, and um, it was just, I'm just delighted for her to get her head back in front. About to climb once again, Stradivarius in about fifth place at the moment, disputing fourth or fifth with uh, Trushan, and it's thunderous on the outside of Nate the Great as they race on now towards the final six furlongs, 
and up the hill and then they'll have some respite swinging on downhill towards the home straight. Thunderous leads the way in the Al Shakab Goodwood Cup. Leads by a length and a half to Kiprios who's got much closer. Nate the Great, Stradivarius taking closer order now in fourth place under Andrea Atzani on the outside of Princess Zoe. Then Shrushan behind these in sixth place from Coltrane back in the field enemy and at last of all away he goes. On the descent now towards the final little right hander approaching the last half mile. Thunderous almost joined by Kiprios. Out wide, Trushan coming with a run. Stradivarius momently just hemmed in a little and the pace has suddenly lifted. Coltrane coming there very strongly on the right as they head on towards the final two and a half furlongs just inside the three. Thunderous and Kiprios in behind them is Stradivarius. Got a little bit blocked off there. Trushan with every chance. Coltrane now being driven along. It's Kiprios who's challenged by Trushan. Trushan looking a major threat. Then Stradivarius now picking up on the far side, coming with his run, and the crowd are roaring him home. Coltrane back in fourth. They run down to the final furlong. Out in the centre, Kiprios and Trushan, but Stradivarius is getting closer on the far side. Kiprios near side of Stradivarius as they race up towards the line. Kiprios has just denied Stradivarius a fifth good World Cup. Third Trushan and in fourth Coltrane. What a race. I think he's very good, Lydia. Yeah, he's very good. Like he, he won a, a gold cup at four, you know. So it's a, um, it's a big, it's a big call, and, and he is relatively lightly raced, fresh horse with not a lot of miles on him, you know. So um, and like I say, the most beautiful mind you've ever had anything to do with, and and has loads of class. So um, he, going to be hopefully a very exciting. Horse. He is a very exciting horse, but going forward, he's going to be hopefully very exciting. And they're off. Just Glamorous was fairly well away. So too Ornate showing his trademark early speed and night on earth. On the right in the orange sleeves, on the extreme right is Indian Creek. Dusky Lord also on the right with the nose banded, the Defiant. More down the centre, Just Glamorous followed by Celsius as Night on Earth builds a useful lead heading down to the three furlong marker. Away to the left is Lee Hu, the furthest left is Equality, tracked by last year's winner, the Grey Lord Ridderford over there as well. And then uh, Rayon and Stone of Destiny and Atalis Bay. And then Embor, Dusky Lord just ahead of Embor and trying to get on terms is Old Duke of Forenzi and Indian Creek under pressure and Night on earth still leads the way but equality is now being produced on the far side from Lee Hu as they run down to the final furlong. Night on earth, Lee Hu equality, Lord Ridderford getting going far side, Dusky Lord as well and the Defiant down the near side a bunch finish as they race to the line, Night on earth, Lord Ridderford flashing home to win it again, Lord Ridderford backs up last year's victory, Night on earth, maybe just shading second fighting it out with Dusky Lord and Lee Hu, Atalis Bay making late ground, the Defiant on the stand side. And uh, they're off. And no news breaking out well on the extreme right from stall 18. Uh, Mischief Magic in the lead, uh, leading group over that side as well with possibly just leading the way Supreme King and now coming through, it's Chico time. Mischief Magic, it's Chico time. Supreme King away to the right, then Celtic Champion in a dark blue cap, red cap of Kessar Power. Slightly marooned out in the center is Corporate Raider. Tracking the leaders is Master of Chant and Imperiosity in a noseband. The pink jacketed Harry Magnus alongside Atomic Impact. Russet Gold is just tracking them towards the center of the bunch in the blue and white diamonds, followed by your Cowlef in a white cap. Then further back is No Goes Dream, Wadi Barney right towards the rear with Hale End and chasing hard is Chartwell House and also Boy Browning. And up ahead it's Chico Time, Mischief Magic next to the rail. Kessar Power, Master of Chant runs on with Russet Gold and then behind these is Celtic Champion putting in a big run now in the dark blue cap but Mischief Magic leads the way from Supreme King deep inside the final furlong and Mischief Magic is firmly in control here for Godolphin and William Buick. Supreme King second, tight third, your Cowliffe and Celtic champion in the same ownership.
Racing left-handed inside the five, and Flash Betty is the leader now. Flash Betty by a couple of lengths to Rainbow Colours in second. Gold Haze probably just third on the outside of Breaking Light. Outside World is outside those. Then My Silent Song. Crystal Capri still right round the inside from King's Joy System. Then Wilderness Girl towards the outside, Flame of Freedom and Tamarama. Down the home run, and inside the final three furlongs, Flash Betty still out in front with rainbow colours looming up in second place, going well. Breaking lights on the inside, My Silent Song, Gold Haze under pressure, outside world, Wilderness Girl very wide with King's Joy at the cutaway. Flash Betty worn down by rainbow colours. Breaking lights switch to the far side, My Silent Song trying hard. King's Joy coming with a rattle as well, but it's rainbow colours. And here's Crystal Caprice now bursting through on the far side under Ryan Moore. With Crystal Caprice far side quickening up really smartly from rainbow colours and My Silent Song and Crystal Caprice goes on to the score. Couple of lengths, two in second rainbow colours. My Silent Song, Tamarama and System fighting it out for the next placings. For the World Pool, EBF, Phillies, Handicap, six furlongs, zero away, crazy luck on the extreme right, on the extreme left, Makarova with Kim and Grace. Uh, going forward is Favourite Child with crazy luck. Down the centre, Willoughby Bay, and now showing a lot of speed is Makarova to join these three. Grantley Hall follows these from Little Guff and Lovely Breeze and Loves Me Like a Rock, the Grey towards the left. The favourite, Kidwar, is one from the left in the blue and white jacket just behind Loves Me Like a Rock with Kim and Grace on the outside. Just Lovely Breeze just ahead of those two. Back in the field to a day in Asia in an orange jacket and little guff and night Narcissus at the rear inside the three. Makarova has got across nearly to the stands rail. Willoughby Bay on the fence in the white sleeves followed by favourite child. Grantley Hall with a chance. Loves me like a rock still in the firing line with lovely breeze and kid was out very wide. A day in Asia's running on. So too little guff. Crazy luck a little bit short of room as they head down towards the final following open race on the near side. Makarova Rover Grantley Hall comes through, gives a day in Asia a knock, but a day in Asia is propelled forward. And a day in Asia now challenging Makarova inside the final furlong. And it's a day in Asia who's going to be too strong under Dylan Hogan. Wears down Makarova, third favourite child, lovely breeze in fourth. <laughs> 